Hi, this is Amy, and I want to talk to you today about the standalone contact manager that's a part of Google Apps for Education. Now, I'm going to admit to you right up front, I don't know that much about it, but um, I found a use for it today that I think could help other people. So, notice that in my domain, my control panel, this is the web address for my domain. So, your web address for your contact manager is going to be www.google.com slash contact slash a slash and then your domain name. So I'm going to go over now to my contact manager, my standalone contact manager, so that you can see how this looks. So what I can do here is I can really access my whole entire directory and I can build contact groups through here. Uh, it seems to me a lot easier to use than the contact manager that's just in my email. So I'm, I'm having a lot of luck with it and that's why I wanted to show you. So I'm going to show you how to create a group of, in my case, principals. So I'm going to choose new group over here and I'm going to put in principals. Now this might not be necessary in your domain because you may have this group pulled over already. Uh, in my domain we will have this group pulled over but we just don't have it yet. So I was just playing around with it and, and use this to figure it out. So here we are. Our group name is going to be principals. Now I've already got another group over here with all of the elementary and intermediate principals. I'm going to check mark all of those and I'm going to add these now to my principals group as well. So there's my selection. You can see how it just added principals over here too. Well in my district it's pretty easy to finish this off so I'm going to add a couple more people to principals. So I've got um, my high school principal and my junior high oh sorry junior high and then high school principal and so I'm gonna add those two folks to the group and now there's my group so I have my principals group and now I'm gonna go and compose an email and I called it principals so there they are I must have called it HISD principles last time I did it. It seems to take a moment to update. So I had this group built just a minute ago and I deleted it so that I could show this to you. It takes just a minute to update so it's still a little bit behind on my group name. Um, let me go back and refresh my window and we'll try it again. Okay so now you'll be able to see that when I start to type in principles I see my group. There it is and it's popped right into my message. Now if I go over to my contacts I'm also going to see the same content. So there's my principals group listed over there as a tag um, and there it is right over there on the side. So I can really do all of this through my mail account also but this is just sort of an added feature of Google Apps for Education that you might want to take advantage of. It also shows you your most contacted, um, any other contacts that may have been saved for you automatically. This is a place where you can clean them up. I know one thing that's been happening to me is that people inside my organization who used to email me at my previous email address with my previous organization still will send emails there sometime accidentally. So this is a place where they could go to see all of that information and clean it up. Uh, if you know more about this, please feel free to share with me. I would love to know more about the Standalone Contact Manager. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of documentation out there about it. So hopefully that helps you and maybe in turn you can help me. Thanks. Have a great day.